So now I'm going to show you how to uh, preserve a uh, tarantula mold if you want. So you get a, a bowl of uh, bowl of water, add a drop of this dishwashing soap, okay, and then just mix it gently. Be sure to to add the deter uh, the uh, dishwashing soap into the water. Don't put the dishwashing soap first into the bowl and then add the water. That creates bubbles. So you don't want little bubbles. So when you mix it, mix it gently. So it's not to uh, create any bubbles. Okay. After that, this is my tarantula mold. Just put it in there. Let it soak it up. Make sure not to crush it. Okay. And then eventually it will get saturated. So we'll come back after after a few minutes after it gets saturated. We are back. Uh, it's been past five minutes. Uh, so it looks pretty soaked up, soaky soaky. Now, what you're gonna do now, because it's very soaky, you could, you are able to manipulate, manipulate the, uh, the skin, the mold, okay? So I got me a, styrofoam panel like that okay and get the mold let's spread it out first of all now in order to measure your tarantula you spread them apart like this and you get the legs the diagonal legs as straight and flat as possible like that and you just measure from from that to that so Slightly over five and a half. So the thing is, this mold is slightly over <clears throat> five and a half. So that means that the actual animal right now is uh, even bigger than that. So uh, this one was five and five and three quarters. So probably that one is maybe one eighth bigger, or maybe even up to six inch. I don't know. So. So that's the way uh, insects grow. They don't grow like us. Uh, every time that they mold, you know, the, they, uh, they grow, uh, f they expand their uh, out of shell while they are soft. So because they have an exoskeleton, which is hard all the time, they don't grow lot like us. So that's the way they grow. And so that's the way how to measure a tarantula. So now I got me some pins. Okay. And we will try to mount this uh, molt. Okay. So the way to do that is. While the mold is wet, you could manipulate any way that you want. Okay, you could curve the legs or not. 
let's try curving the legs a little bit. So, curve the legs. Like that. So once you got it like that, you might want to contour it a little bit, if you can. Make the legs bend a little bit more. See right now it's a little bit too wet, so because of the weight of the, the, the water. It's not sticking, uh, it's not uh, contouring uh, so well. So, what I could do is I could wait a few, mo a few minutes, let it dry a little bit, and then we could shape it the way that we want. Okay, so it is after a few days. Uh, the mold is dried so you now you could uh, pin it up to any uh, frame or anything like that as you wish all right here's some some of my previous molds they're all different species uh, like for example this is a GBB and uh, this is a Jenny Colada. And uh, here's a Metallica. The same one, but long time ago, but before. Anyways, that's basically how it is. This one, however, it's my Jenny Colada and it's a mature male that died uh, of old age and uh, it's this one is not a mold so you see right here this is the uh, petty pal that's the uh, the front front legs that is used to uh, insert the female his uh, sperm package in order to fertilize the female if there's a hook inside the pedipal if you could see inside this this is a, a also a leg which is not used for walking though and there's a hook and it uh, delivers the uh, sperm package uh, to the female so that's what it's for this is a mature male mature males don't live that long after maturity so that's why he died so males of uh, of all spider species they don't live that long so bummer okay 